Uh, we certainly had a discussion about that, but it was very sloppy work, but it um, you know cost us uh, a little bit in the reputation department. Mm -hmm. Jan? Well, I mean, I think on a daily basis, not only in my professional, but personal life, there are things I take back every day if I could. <laughs> <laughs> but that's a whole other panel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's Dr. Phil. We only, have, we only have 20 minutes and Dr. Phil's left the room. Um, I don't know if I would take this back or not, but it was certainly skewed and screwed by the media. Um, you might have heard a little incident that happened in Vista before Christmas where um, one of our deputies responded to a domestic violence call. It was dark, it was cold, and they saw a person in a hoodie walking away and kind of matched the description. And uh, they tried to stop him and he wouldn't stop, and so it ended up they called for cover. And because he wouldn't take his hands out of his hoodie, it got to be an officer safety issue. And then they, um, they maced him and then they used their baton. When they got him in the back of the patrol car and they took the hoodie off, they realized that he had downs. It was a mistake. And um, uh, Channel 10 went out there, not knowing that our captain of the station was gonna go out there and talk to the family. We went out there as soon as we knew what happened, talked to the family. The royal we, that would be the captain. I was at home in my fuzzy slippers. And uh, honestly told the family, we made a mistake. We are so sorry. And I'm on the phone with the commander saying, and it was, it, it, it was perceived as being a buy-off. And it, it was not that at all. We offered to buy them something to make their Christmas better, whether it be a turkey or a Christmas tree or gifts for this young man or the family. And, that's, and I'm not saying Channel 10 did this, I'm not saying that at all, but the media in general skewed that around to, we were trying to buy off the family because we beat their son and buy him off with a turkey. And that wasn't the case at all. And I didn't let it die. The next day when I was talking to the commander, I said, you know, just think about sending a plain clothes guy out there in a plain car and a plain brown wrapper with something for this family, knowing this is going to go through city council and go through the legal arena as it should. And because that captain turned to Channel 10 and thankfully said, we made a mistake, that allowed me to say, we made a mistake. And we did. But until he said it, I would have done the old party line, this is under investigative internal affairs, I can't say anything, blah, blah, blah. Which is hard because at the end of internal affairs, you all want to know what the result is. But it's a personnel matter and protected by police officer bill of rights. And I can't tell you. And I've heard the sheriff many times say that's frustrating. So I guess if I had to re, would I redo it? No, but I wish I could I wish it had been portrayed differently, that we weren't trying to bind them off with a turkey. We genuinely felt badly about this family and what happened. <laughs>